I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to the blade that I'm working on here. So this is just the first prototype made in base basswood. So just a couple rubber bands holding in a couple levers here. On this side too. And then you can see a couple sliders here. That's where the blade will slide along. Right out the front here. The back is just stopped. It's pretty thin. Pivoting around these pins here, which work phenomenally well actually. But I didn't expect that. This is only needed here just to keep the blade more stiff when it's in. So this is the blade. It's just a quick prototype. Um, has a little dot here, which will come in handy, because that's actually how it does the spring mechanism, is by flinging this either direction. And then just a slider on the other side, which fits right in here. And so, it, as you can see, there we go, locks in with the first stopper there. You have to hit it to go down, slide smoothly down past that one, and then locks. And then that's what that little knob is for there. So now let's put on the next piece. And this is as far as I made it today. So here it's locked up there. Um, give me a sec. Um, this is what we're going to put on there. So here's the bottom again. You have the slider for that little knob on the top of the blade. Um, these are the um, launchers. I'll quick show you what the other side looks like. Um, so you have, there they are. They're just tensioned by a spring, both tensioned against each other. So when you move one direction, it catches, and then once it um, hits the lever, it launches it forward. And that's what slides it into place in the next one. So let me just put this on. It just kind of slides in. I've built some rails for it on the side so it can slide nicely. So let us test it out. So when it's in the bottom position like this, the blade is in. Um, this is going to be hard to do, so I'm just going to do it this way. <laughs> and then so you go up, and as you go, it starts to tension it, as you can see, it pulls back. Whoops, I accidentally hit it too fast. Um, the blade shoots out with the spring. So now it's up here and locked up against this one. So now we're going to pull it down. As you can see, it's going to tension it right there. You can see it pulling back on the spring now. And the moment it passes this, it's going to shoot back down into place. Whoops, that was a bad example. Um, let's try from the bottom. Again. Go up, and the down one seems to need a little more trouble, so... There we go. It just shoots all the way back. Sometimes it keeps breaking through here, so I have to reinforce that. Um, up. Down. Up. Pretty cool. And a very satisfying noise when it hits. So yeah, I'm going to keep working on that. I'm hoping I can get the ring on the finger so it just goes every touch. It goes forward, backward, forward, backwards with the same movement. So that's my progress for today.